Jordi Jedi here doing my next football season review. Everton finished fifth and they've got European football for next season. So brilliant job. Good on you as well done. They played brilliant football, nobody expected this of them. That somehow, you know, they didn't have the best summer transfer window. They brought in three players on loan at least. Gareth Barry, who played relatively well. Gerard Delafeu, who was a brilliant player, but he didn't play as often as I think he probably should have myself. And also brought in Romelu Lukaku, who, you know, is a brilliant player. 16 goals this season. You know, he helped them massively. They were fighting for Champions League football. Personally, they probably deserved it more than, well, quite frankly, probably deserved it more than Manchester City did. Let alone, any, let alone Arsenal. So, they played well. They brought in Roberto Martinez, a brilliant manager. I think a lot of props have to go to him. He should have, if he wasn't already in the running, he should have been in the running for LMA. Um, award this year. I know Tony Pulis got it, but who did a brilliant job. But Roberto Martinez deserved a mention. They, you know, they did well, relatively well against the big teams. They always put up a fight against Manchester City. They did have a big loss to Arsenal, which I think cost them massively in the running for fourth. They also didn't have as much luck in the Merseyside derbies as they do sometimes. You know, they drew 3-3 they drew at home to Goodison Park to Liverpool, which was a brilliant game. And those, and unfortunately they lost the other fixture, which was a bit of a shame, but it happens. So, where the results that cost them really was, again, the Arsenal loss, but it was also draws against teams such as West Brom and Stoke City. They should be winning those games, I'd say. You know, there are... There's also the loss to Southampton, the 2 0 loss again. They should be winning those games. I know they were away to Southampton, but still, you know, they should be. W the problem with them is that, is that they'll do relatively well against the big teams, but the, they'll draw more often than that, than they should. Which is good sometimes, because I mean, a draw is better than a loss, but a win is better than a draw. They should have a lot of money. To play with in the summer, you know that I know they're looking into Dembele, who would be who would be a decent signing. So, but what they really need to do is they need to bring in two strikers because they sold Nikita Jelovic, who's doing all right at all. They brought in Lucina Traore again on loan, Romelu Lukaku on loan. You know they don't have a brilliant strike force. They've got defenders who like to attack. I mean, Phil Jagielka got injured, which is another reason why they perhaps didn't make it fourth. But, you know, John Stones came in and did a brilliant job. They have everywhere apart from strikers, apart from strikers. You know, they have everywhere sorted. You know, Barkley really came into his own this season. Like I said, John Stones, Baines didn't do explosively well as he did last season, but he still put in brilliant performances. Um, James Coleman, he did well. You know they have brilliant. They have a they have a brilliant team. They lack depth, depth, and also for next season, unless something changes, they need the lack strikers. And I mean, you know, 15 plus goals a year strikers. I mean, 20 plus if they could if they could manage it would be brilliant for them. So they need. It's it's all about summer transfer window for them. I mean, if they can bring in, if they could bring in Romelu Lukaku again, he'd be perfect. You know, bring him in. I mean, there's nothing wrong really with playing one strike on his own. When you've got players such as Barkley, you know, you can play four five one. You've got you know you've got Baines and Coleman who are brilliant attack attacking fullbacks, and you've got a decent midfield. You know, Barkley in particular. So playing one up front, it's not. It's not the British way, it's not the Premier League way, but it works. It can work if you can only get one strike in. But personally, I'd say get more in. You know, play... Bring in two, bring in Lucerne Priori, if you felt like it. I mean, he's not brilliant, but... 
someone who'd be perfect for them, because I, I doubt he's coming to Newcastle, is Lord Remy. You know, bringing, say if you could, if they could bring in Romelu Lukaku, someone of that kind of nature, you know, head as powerful but not speedy, not particularly speedy anyways. They, should, they need to bring in someone who's very fast. So personally, Lord Grammy would be perfect for them. If they could do it, doesn't mean they can. So overall, a brilliant season. They could really march on from here if they can do well in the transfer window. They've also got to be careful next season of the Europa League. You know, we were in the Europa League last season. So we know that it can really mess things up if you, if it goes wrong. You know, I mean, they've got a, they don't have massive depth. So they're going to need to either, well, do one of two things. Either going to need to bring in loads of players and spend loads of money to fight for Europa League again next season or even Champions League while fighting for Europa League victories or they'll have to give up on the Europa League personally that's the choice I'd go for you know Everton are a good team if they get a good group stage they could put in the development you know half development team and probably still win if they can get the right group if they can't you know Europa League should be a second priority to them you know it, it can Swansea know it we know it Birmingham know it it can really fuck things up if you don't if you re don't do it right. So personally, I wouldn't bother. I'd get I'd hope for me hope for a really good group that you put in and maybe get through to the knockout stages and then maybe even further if you get very lucky or you know give up on the Europa League. Focus on an FA Cup maybe, but focus on the Premier League most of all. I know you want cup glory, but you know, Europa League in particular will screw things up. I mean, at least with Champions League, you have the money to bring in, you know, to add depth. Europa League it adds a bit of money, but it's relatively negligible. Anyways, it's been the Geordie Jedi. Leave a like if you want, subscribe if you want, comment if you want. May the force be with you.